Greetings to you all. This is my third attempt at this review uh, of my new Bear Dynamic TGV uh, TGV 50DS. This is my third attempt at this review. My first review failed because the door of the booth that I'm in is broken. Uh, I've got to get it fixed and it fell down. And I knocked the pause button of the laptop of the Apple Magic keyboard I use in there. And after about 20 seconds of me swearing at the door, we didn't get the review that I recorded. The second attempt, the stupid MacBook decided that, uh, which sits outside the booth, that it was going to record through the MacBook Pro uh, microphone, which meant that <clears throat> my review was very, very muffled. So, impressions. The first thing I'm going to say about this microphone is that it's a very nice design. I'm going to take it off its clamp. Forgive the noise. Now, I have it on a road uh, floor stand in my little booth. I've also got a road desktop stand, which it goes very nicely with. I'm holding it in the hands right now. Now, obviously, with the dynamics, the closer you are, and particularly for the um, really intimate sound, you know, it really comes across very well. Uh, so, you know, if you want to do those really quiet, intimate kind of, um, kind of radio, oh God, I sound like one of those, um, and welcome to Love Songs and Dedications. We have a message here from Juliet, and she says, Dear lover Maddock, my boyfriend has joined the Navy. He says that I can't give him enough excitement, so he's decided to join the Colours. Could you play for him a special song? And hopefully if he hears it, oops, explosive, or noise, hopefully if he hears it, he'll come back home to his mama, where he belongs, instead of staying in the Navy. So, um, I use, I usually use a Rode NT1, uh, condenser in the booth and that, that, that served me well I've done a few little oops a few little dramas with that for podcasts and uh of it oops clip fell down now this clip that the microphone comes with it can fall down if you knock it in its high point if you do knock it it sometimes can flop down it's just the way it's made the screw is not as tight as I think it should be. That's not to say that it's not a good clip. It does tend to stay where it is, uh, but I think it could be a tiny bit tighter. Um, I think it's a pretty basic clip they give you. I think you could probably get a lot better. Uh, so if I knock it, it's going to drop right down and obviously come right out. So it does take a bit of placement to get it in exactly the right position. Uh on the whole, I paid $189 for this mic as Australian, about $145 US, I think, at the moment, depending on the currency. Now, if I just go really quiet, I've got this connected to the Rode NT1 interface, we'll get a bit of an idea, hopefully nothing moves, of the noise floor. So sit back, relax, reflect, and enjoy the uh, noise floor of the player dynamic and the Rode NT1 interface. Thank you very much, one at all. Don't log me out, you silly computer. And this is perfect. Oh, you stupid bastard. This computer's locked me out because it's on battery. Don't talk at me. Screen reader talking in my ear. Right, let's put the password in again. What? Oh, for God's sake. God. Ah, oh, for God. L let me in. Thank you, yes. Stupid bastard. That's another good thing this microphone is very good for. If you're if you're doing something where you need to shout, um, obviously you don't do it right into it. You 
turn your head slightly to the side. Now, these microphones are obviously great because my setup is not a, pro- a professional-grade setup. Uh, we built it at home, a lot of foam, a lot of pillows, and a big yet broken door, which is going to be fixed today. So if I stick my head out of this booth right now, we open the door a bit, the microphone will no doubt uh, pick me up, I think, uh, but it's very, very quiet, obviously, so I'm speaking into the main room. So we'll just shut the door again. Now, on my uh, Rode NT1 condenser, if uh, my family were watching TV in the lounge room, um, I had the door shut of the room that I'm in, my media room, I call it, and my booth. Uh, but still the TV would uh, sometimes come through. So I'd have to be very careful when doing a little voiceover not to let you know, any sound really soak through. Now, that's not to say that this thing makes it completely dead in here, but it pretty much is bloody close is i've got headphones on so i'm just monitoring on the fly uh but it pretty much does ensure a deadish sound uh which will be very good because i i've done a few audio dramas as i said for podcasters with the uh road nt1 and again no complaints but i think this will be a lot better you know because and it doesn't distort like the nt1 i can shout like this and the distortion is bloody negligible, although obviously I am turning my head to the side to make sure, because if you do it right on, then it's going to distort. That's right. That's bloody well right. Okay, okay, I'm done now. Uh, You're probably all thinking he should be certified. But $189 Australian I paid uh, for this microphone, and let me tell you, I don't regret it. I've had three microphones so far. I've had the Rode NT USB. I didn't particularly like that microphone. Very high noise floor. And then I and then someone said, "Go and get the Rode NT One interface with the uh, to the Rode you know, the AI One, whatever they bloody hell they call it, the shock mount and all that." Uh, now this microphone, I don't have a pop shield on it. Um, it doesn't come with one, and I don't know. I probably will end up getting one. But I've got a feeling there's something already built in because I can. Okay, there it is there because I'm really close uh, and all that. But it's not an absolute requirement that you need a pop shield. Oops, there we go again. Okay, sorry about that. I've just killed my own argument there. So obviously, I speak side on. So obviously, if you can go really, really close, get yourself the Bayer Dynamic. TGV 20DS, I think it is. I can never forget the numbers. But seriously, if you are looking for a microphone under $200, I would seriously give this one a look in uh, because I, I'm never going back. It's one of the best microphones I've ever played with. It's a nice feeling microphone. It's uh, very nice to hold. It's got a switch. There's another one without a switch for the same price. That doesn't really make sense to me. So we've got the switch, turn it off. And then we switch it back on. And I like the switch because it gives a nice, satisfying click. It's uh, very well made. There's no sharp edges or anything like that. It's it's really worth the price, uh, as I said. Because I, I've seen, I've heard some microphones that are twice the price. And I've gone... Are people seriously paying four or five hundred dollars for that microphone because it's not worth it? Uh, but this one, I would definitely be giving it at least an eight or nine, probably a nine. And yeah, seriously, I'd, I'd recommend it, particularly if you're doing voiceover or vocals or things, because it is perfect for that. Now, that's not to say, sorry, another plosive. Now, that's not to say um, that you know the diet that cut the uh, condenser is useless, it's not. And I do have the gain a little bit higher on this interface because i haven't really played around with this thing yet uh my rode nt1 needs a shitload of gain particularly on the mgxu yamaha mixer i use which makes it a bitch if you've got speakers connected because you get screaming feedback but with this this one you don't need uh high gain at all in fact less is more with this thing because the higher you go it does tend it can distort if you go really really high so yep definitely give this won a glowing review and I'd, I'd have a gander at it. I would seriously look at it now. 
I'm going to stop talking and leave you all alone. Thank you for listening and uh, happy shopping if you do decide to get this wonderful, beautiful, biodynamic microphone.